What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear. And I bet you're wondering what this video is all about. I haven't put on a video in, you know, a week to a couple of weeks or so. Well, I wanted to rap to y'all about a few things. Number one is I will be finishing Amnesia. <clears throat> and that's a, that's a shocker in itself. Because I swore up and down I wasn't going to. However, <clears throat> things have been a little rough lately. I've been jobless for about three months now. But thankfully, we've still been able to keep food on the table, a roof over our heads. I'm just worried about the car. I wake up every morning and the first thing that I do is go outside and look and make sure that it is still there. I've thrown my resume up to five times a day. And even as a security officer, I've been turned down from places like the county jail and stuff like that. I don't even remember the last time I had been turned down from a job in my own profession. So it has put a damper on my spirit as of late. And well, while it was all going on, I still put videos on. I still showed you that little bit of happiness that I had left. Why? For the simple fact that when you can't bring happiness to yourself, you cultivate that happiness by giving it to others. It's like, you know, a seed. A seed can't do anything for anybody. But you plant that seed, and that seed can feed dozens. It's like the old saying, you teach a man how to fish and he can eat for a day. It's what you pass on to others. Paying it forward. That good karma can come back to you. If light was a physical source about the palm of my hand, and, and let me tell you, this is a big hand. This is the paw of a bear. So it's going to be a pretty decent amount of light no matter what. I mean, picture like a softball in my hand. And you take pieces of that softball off and give it to others. That is what I do. When making videos. I take. The seeds. Of my own light. And I plant them into your hearts. So that. The seed will grow. And it will be able to. Feed. Other hearts. Because at the end of the day. It all comes back around. And that light that I lost. Being a farming man. To the hearts of others. All of that light. Comes back. And makes my own light brighter. The struggles that I've had. Started with a traumatic experience. Link in the description of the video below if you haven't seen it. There is a powerful lesson in this video, and it's not for the faint of heart. It's really not. But it teaches a very valuable lesson. So if you can handle it, I recommend you watch it. Not because of it getting more views. I could care less. It's not a video about views. I didn't roar. There was no outro. It was 
to bring awareness to a certain type of thing that happens all over the world. Looking at my YouTube channel now and during my looking at the past, when the present and the future do not look well, that's where you kind of sit at, is in the present and you think about the past, to try to draw from something to keep you going. And when I look at my YouTube video, it is so different. Thinking about my videos back in the day, oh, some of those videos didn't get any views at all. Some of them didn't, but now every single one of my videos does. A couple of them have double digit views. I could count on one hand, one paw, the number of comments I had throughout the entire channel of my old YouTube channel. Now it's different. And damn near every one of my latest videos that I've done has had at least one comment on it. I have a tight knit group of support. Something that I didn't have back then. And I love it. I love that there is actual improvement with this. It warms my heart. It really does. That this little want, this little pipe dream of mine that I had a year ago now is actually bearing fruit. You know who you are and know that you are loved no matter what. You watching this video, whether you're subscribed to me, whether you like the video, just know that you are loved because time, time is the most crucial thing. A lot of time can get wasted. A lot of time can get well spent. Time is precious. And for you to take the time to look at my goofy face and hear me rap to you, it's appreciated no matter who is behind the eyes. I will give more details in that video. The first video on this channel Detailing my return to YouTube, I will also link it in the description below. But when it comes to doing this, in my situation, it can be a struggle. <clears throat> because I'm not that sound as far as the availability to look for content. I mean, the first game that I played on the channel was a, was a free game, Path of Exile. And I will eventually go back to making more videos of that. Why? Number one, because it brought me into the channel. And I was looking for a game that I can just pump out videos with and just go nuts with it while my life gets situated. And that is that game. Plus, the game is fun. I mean, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And it makes things easier for me. Because in my situation, it's very easy to run out of ideas. It really is. That's another reason why I'm doing Amnesia again. Because it is an idea that I have. It is a game that I played. And, hey, let's face it. You can't sit here and say, for those who did watch Amnesia, that you did not like me being scared out of my grisly ass. There's no way. Because even I had to laugh at myself sometimes. I have another Let's Play that I put one video on. When you do videos ahead of schedule, you tend to get mixed up, and I put the first one on before I was even ready to. But I will go back to that video. I have at least one more idea with two more in the works 
but I just have to get the game. And then I would have two more uh, ideas. It's trying to make sure that I stay ahead because it is easier for me. It is easier for me so that I can continue to make videos for you because I enjoy it. Because there are so many people that I have come across in this world that did not want me. For who I am, for the you that you have seen, they wanted nothing to do with me. After my, you know, dad died, even my own mom didn't want me anymore. But, seeing that my channel actually has improved. I thank you for that. This means a lot to me. For the simple fact that it's really all I got. It's all I do. This is literally my gaming fix. It's all I do. I don't go out and do anything, hang out with anybody. Yeah, sure. I play D&D. That's another idea that I've already started recording and will eventually begin to put D&D session videos up in the channel as well. And they're not, you know, the most professional. No, we're all crammed into a one-bedroom apartment around a long white table with an angry DM at the head of the table aiming to kill us. I have a daughter. I have dogs. Things can get loud. There may be intermissions. But it's like I said, my YouTube channel is about showing you the real me. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If we get off topic, we get off topic. That is us. That is me. That is my world that I am sharing with you at its 100% realist, raw, uncut, no lubrication required. And that's how it's always going to be. That is my story. The reason why I started doing YouTube. That is the real me. Because I want to cultivate in the hearts of others the light from the real me. And you watching this video help make that happen. I will continue to make these videos for many moons. I will continue to appreciate those that take the time out of their day to watch these videos. So stay safe out there. Keep it easy. Keep it breezy. Keep it sleazy. And never forget to holla at your bear. Because I'm always going to be extra squeezy. Peace out.